Hello everyone! So a long time no see. I apologise for my absence here on YouTube. Um, I've just been super busy. <clears throat> we'll do a little life update at the end of this video. But today's video I'm super excited for. I decided to treat myself in the week to a new pair of Doc Martens. Um, I treated myself to the Jaden Velvet Black um, Dr. Martins that I've been wanting for a long time. I saw they were on sale, had to get them and I asked you guys on Instagram if uh, you guys would want to see an unboxing since you've liked all my other shoe unboxing videos and you guys liked when I unboxed my um, Molly uh, platform boots as well. So they're a very similar style to that, pretty much the same sort of boot but obviously different as their brushed velvet um, and their side zipped and everything. So I don't know, I just thought it'd be fun to do a little sit down, finally sit down and do a YouTube video for you guys and do a little unboxing because they're always fun to do. And um, yeah, this is my first time even trying, gonna be trying them on. I've literally just opened the package myself, so um, it's going to be a full on first impressions and everything. So yeah, without any more further ado, let's get on to the video. Also, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, which you should, the link is always in the description. Um, I have added green to my hair as well. Um, so yeah, we're going for a full on rainbow effect like I used to have. Um, so my hair's growing, it's finally getting a little bit longer so I thought let's add a new colour in. So it's really faded right now and my roots have come in so I have to re-dye it this weekend but yeah, there we go, I got green in my hair too. So I've got the boots out here. Um, I purchased these off Shoe, um, which is, I think it's just like a UK or European website. Um, where you can obviously buy shoes off. Um, I will link it down below with the link to these boots. However, I did look earlier and they are now out of stock since they've been on sale. So um, yeah, that's a bummer, but I will still try and link the link to the shoe down below. So obviously when you check the link, they might be in stock. So they had like a big 30% off sale and I literally had no idea about it. Just was ironically looking at Dr. Martin boots and saw they were on sale and I was like, shit, do I get them? Do I get them? I had a rubbish day in work that day and I was like, you know what? I'm going to treat myself. So um, I will get like the full pricing for you as well. So I think they usually retail for £159 on the Dr. Martin's official website anyway. So they're about £150 to £160 depending on where you get them. And with the 30% off I paid, I believe, uh, I did keep the receipt, to which I paid with, yeah, with the sale, I paid £104.99 for them, which is a big saving um, I know they're obviously still expensive boots, um, but 104 from like 159, that is a pretty good deal if you ask me. Yeah, so just looking on shoe now, I think on shoe they retail, uh, the uh, Jaden boots all retail for about £160. So uh, we saved quite a lot of money. So from 160 to like £104.99, I was like, I couldn't leave them for that. So like I said, they are out of stock right now on shoe, but I will still link them down below in hopes that obviously they come back in stock. But I'll also link down below other retailers that sell them. Obviously you can get them off the official Dr. Martin site, um, I think you can get them off of um, Dolls Kill as well if you are obviously in America. Obviously you can get it here but usually you get customs charges if you buy off Dolls Kill. Um, and you can get them off of... Well, I think that might just be it. Well I'll find all the links um, to getting them as well. I'll link all the stuff I can down below for you, if, obviously if you want direct links to the boots. Um, but hopefully that sale kind of sticks and obviously you can get your hands on them that way as well. That would be great. <laughs> so I will show you guys the beautiful boots right now. I've just kind of like laced them up. Dun, 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 dun. So these are what they look like. Like I said, I will do a normal sort of try on on my feet as well, like I did with my other boots, just to see comfort level, how heavy they are, um, if they kind of rub or anything, just so we kind of know. And also, like I did before, I'll probably end up in the future updating the description box, like in my last Dr. Martin's unboxing, to let you guys know, obviously, how comfort they com comfort how comfortable they are wearing out and about for long periods as well um, because it's always obviously good to know I could put them on now they could be comfortable but wearing them long time is obviously the true test so 
this is what they look like up close they are absolutely gorgeous so i'll read a little product description for you so it says the jaden boots is a fierce evolution of our iconic eight eye boot with a super chunky platform uh ridge cut commando tread um brings a tough extra empowering vibe to any look um even better it's now in soft brushed velvet so it has um an inside zip um crafted from a uh, backed brushed velvet um comes with two sets of laces ribbon and ribbon and standard cord i didn't receive two sets of laces um so that is disappointed mine only from shoe came with the cord laces so that is something to obviously keep an eye out for if you do get them off shoe because like with my other dr martins they came um with obviously the two sets of laces it would have been cute if these came with the ribbon laces actually so i don't know why on shoe they don't come with the ribbon laces i'm not overly bothered about it to be honest but just something to keep in mind obviously if you want the ribbon look um that come with them don't get them off shoe because obviously they for some reason don't come with them um where was i um built in iconic rebelliously comfortable comfortable dr martin's airwear cushion sole um the sole is uh secured using one of the most durable construction methods available um blah 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 yeah, yellow stitching obviously in the grooves which is iconic for dr martens and the platform height is 1.5 and a heel height is two um which i'm guessing that's i don't know if that's millimeters i'm guessing actually i think it's inches 1.5 inch i don't know i'm shit at measurements to be honest so 1.5 and then two on the heel um I think it's inches but I'm not sure um <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much um all of the description on them so first thoughts obviously they're really soft to the touch them being velvet um they're super black and everything um the only thing I'm finding is I've had them out for five seconds and obviously me being me I shed my hair goes everywhere my dogs shed um so they do capture quite a lot of fluff on them um obviously them being velvet so that is something to be aware of obviously i'll probably keep mine in the original box unless i'm wearing them that's what i do with all of my dr martins to obviously keep them safe keep them from like um you know wearing and everything like that just keeps them safe in the box that way um but obviously yeah something to be aware of if you keep them out and about they will probably collect dust and stuff i'm also a bit worried that they might scuff as well obviously being velvet but that will obviously be something that we'll find out over time but other than that they're actually pretty soft um they're obviously nice and tough in the like front of the boot and the back um but they're really soft like they're bendable which is nice obviously these are like a vegan shoe so they're not made of leather they're not like the leather dr martins that you get um so obviously it's the same with my molly boots because they're not made of leather they are softer which i think is better uh, personally not that i wear leather shoes anyway um but they they didn't i didn't have to break in my molly platforms so i'm hoping these will be the same um they're just already kind of soft so obviously not being made with thick leather makes them pretty much already broken in um i remember literally like a few days after i got my molly um platforms i did like a big long ass shopping trip in cardiff walking everywhere and i didn't get one blister they were fab the only thing is obviously they're a bit heavy so it was a bit of a leg workout after walking around in them a while but like nothing major so they're a bit of a heavier boot but other than that no blisters which is the main thing i look for and they were really soft on the bottom of my feet as well um so that is obviously to do with like their was it the air sole thing that they do with dr martins makes them really comfortable but that's the one good thing about the vegan docs is obviously you don't really have to worry about breaking them in but obviously we'll see when i try them on um one thing that i liked obviously about these than the other um <coughs> jaden boots or the molly ones anyway is they have a side zipper which is so easy because that's one thing with dr martins is getting them on your foot and i'm sure everyone will agree with me like my molly ones are so annoying because they're obviously 
so heavy to get on and you have to undo loosen up all the laces to get them on to tighten them again they're just they're not an easy shoe to take on and off put it that way um so i'm hoping that with the side zip these will be easier where you can just literally slip your foot in and out obviously i'm not sure until i've tested this i'm not sure obviously with the laces being tied if that would be an issue you getting your foot in still but we're gonna see how it goes i've already obviously tied the laces and stuff um so we'll see what it's like just trying to slip my foot in the shoe itself but i do like the fact that it's got a side zipper i think that just makes it so much easier um and yeah i liked the idea of these obviously as well uh, we're obviously still in summer here now but it's going to be coming up to autumn winter i loved my molly boots for like autumn winter um in the uk here like all last year i wore the crap out of them so i think i'm going to be alternating between the two now but i also thought with these as well like my molly ones are obviously um like I don't know they're they're a bit heavier and they're a bit obviously like I said they're they're bendable and everything but they're obviously being them the plastic sort of material they're not as breathable so I'm hoping maybe with these I could probably get away with wearing them in spring summer as well as opposed to just autumn winter which is probably mainly when I'll wear them but I think like these would look cute still obviously it being summer now still as well with like I don't know a dress or some tights like I feel like they just look really cute um, all year round as opposed to just like autumn winter maybe that's just me I don't know I feel like you can wear docks anytime but they obviously make your feet really hot so that my whole point is let's see if these obviously are as um I don't know if make make my feet as hot as my mollies do um in the summertime if that makes sense I don't know I think that's just me being weird but <laughs> yeah I'm just hoping that I can wear these more so all year round than just autumn winter even though it's autumn winter coming up um anyway but I just love the look of them obviously they're just they're kind of more basic than my mollies my mollies obviously are really glittery and they got their ribbon tie and stuff which I do love and I still wear them with everything but obviously I feel, I feel like having these in the mix even though they are obviously a very similar boot um it's kind of good to have like something like this that's a bit more plainer in your collection as well for you to chuck on with any old outfit like they will literally go with anything they'll go with like a girlier vibe like today obviously if you're going for a more grungy vibe like they'll just suit absolutely everything so that's the main reason why I wanted them like I wanted them as soon as I saw them last year but obviously I got my mollies then so I was like oh it's not really justified buying two at the same time so I'm kind of glad I've held out for them um and I hope they're comfy so I'm gonna skip to the try on now we'll see what they're like and then we'll check back in the end and I'll give you my thoughts on what they're like on the foot um but then being a sim similar style to the molly flat platforms I think they'll be similar so I'm gonna do the try on now I think I've gone through everything with them I'm also a UK size six as well if you're wondering about sizing I always find a doc's for me personally fit true to my size obviously everyone has different feet sizing and everything like that but for me I always just get my true size and they fit really nice they're not too tight got plenty of room in them so let's try them on and see what they're like so I hope you guys can see and hear me okay um, obviously the camera's on the floor and further away from me so I hope the audio is still okay and I hope you guys can see okay as well but these are the boots on I hope you guys can see okay but they are so comfy and as I said um they can literally with the zip on the side it was so easy to get them on so much easier than my other Dr. Martins personally I literally could just slip my foot in zip them up and then obviously adjust the laces to make sure they were tight enough so I think now the laces are like adjusted for my personal foot um I won't really have to mess with them in the future um, I can just slip my foot in so that made it so easy to get them on like I wish other Dr. Martins in the future have this function because it makes it so easy. I personally love the look of them. I love the soft velvet. I think it makes them so pretty and they're just so comfy. Really soft so as you can see I can still like have full function of my ankle because they're really soft here at the top of the shoe um and yeah they've got a really nice hard front toe cap as well so obviously if you bumped your foot they're not soft or anything like nothing's gonna happen here um but yeah they're amazing they're really comfy i'm super happy with them and i'm not sure i don't feel like they're as heavy as my mollies on um maybe obviously with it being like um, the soft velvet fabric instead of like the plastic it makes it so much comfier 
but I love the look of them. I love the high platform. I'm a sucker for platform boots, obviously. And yeah, I just love the fact that I could slip my foot in straight away and um, just made it so easy. So, so comfy. My foot's got plenty of room on the inside. The soles are really soft and bouncy as well, but I just love them. I think they're so cute. I'm definitely going to wear the crap out of these. Um, like I said, the only thing that I'm concerned about is obviously the velvet. Um, it does capture a lot of fluff, um, so I'm not sure how obviously the velvet will hold up. But then also I do like the look of Dr. Martens when they have been worn in also. Um, it makes them look kind of rough and, and everything, and I, I think it just kind of adds to the look. So I'm not super worried about that right now, but they do capture dust and fluff. So you guys might see some on the boots now. Um, I tried to rub as much off as I could before this try on. Um, but yeah, that's just something to be aware of. I'm definitely going to be keeping mine in the box. So this is what they look like. They're so comfy. And um, yeah, I cannot wait to wear them out. They look so cute. Hopefully you guys can see them all okay over my fluffy mat. Um, and sorry about the messy background as well. But yeah, they're super cute. So... Um, that is it for the try-on portion. I will see you guys in a second. Okay, ooh, what is this bit of hair? Um, so we are back after trying them on. Safe to say they are super comfortable. I'm all around really happy. And just slipping them off then, undo the zipper, slide your foot out. It was so much easier than like my other Dr. Martens. So I'm really happy that they have a zip on the side. Um, so all around, I rate them like a 10 out of 10. I think they're extremely comfortable, super soft. And um, yeah, I just can't wait to wear them out. Like I said, once I wear them out for a long period, I will update you guys. Oh, what is all my hair doing right now? <laughs> I will update you guys in the description box as well. So obviously future viewers as well can see um, what I think. And obviously if they rub and everything or if they hurt my feet wearing them for a long period. But just trying them on then, they are so comfortable. Honestly, I like they're so comfy. So I cannot wait to wear them out. I just think they're going to go so well with everything. Um, yeah, so I just, I love them. I'm really happy that I finally got them. Um, do not regret it at all. So as I said, I will definitely be linking um, shops down below where you can purchase them off. I'll link obviously shoe down below, but they're out of stock currently while I'm filming this video, obviously. Um, but hopefully in the future, they should definitely be back in stock. It's probably just due to the sale. But I'll link them as well on like official Dr. Martin's website and other websites down below as well. So you guys can have direct links to get them. Sorry, the phone's ringing as well, if you can hear that. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with them. Cannot wait to wear them. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. Definitely, if you guys are thinking about getting these and adding them to your Dr. Martens collection, I would totally get them. I think they are definitely worth it. Um, I would have probably even paid the full price for them, to be honest. But obviously, seeing them on sale, I got lucky. So um, it's up to you whether you want to pay like the £150, £160 price tag. But obviously I'm sure there'll be other sales as well in the future but I just think with autumn coming up and winter as well I know it's end of August and it's obviously not autumn or winter yet but this year's gone by so fast already I'm sure it will hit us like a ton of bricks I'm definitely excited to start incorporating these in my wardrobe and um yeah they're so nice I'm so happy with them and I love anything velvet like I have a crushed velvet bed crushed velvet everything so obviously anything that's got that velvet feeling I'm just like oh it's probably like my favorite thing in the world just velvet it feels so good um so yeah that is it you guys for this unboxing just a quick little update for you guys on where I have been um I have been streaming on twitch I did mention in my last video um but yeah I, that's why there's probably been less uploads and everything like that I've been busy obviously working all week but then I also I've got my gaming PC and everything if you guys follow me on Instagram you would know so I've been kind of starting to try and get a platform up on Twitch I've been gaming um, mostly The Sims 4 at the moment but I'm looking to expand to other games as well so obviously if you guys follow me for the whole beauty fashion 
piercings, tattoos aspect, that's absolutely fine. But if you guys are um, someone that just likes me as a person and wants to support me, um, my Twitch uh, will be linked down below as well. So if you guys can give me a follow on there or if you're interested in just watching my uh, Twitch streams and stuff, I stream most weekends now and I'm finding it a lot of fun. It's like a new hobby that I really enjoy and I'm so glad I've picked up on gaming again. I just think it's so much fun. But like I said in my last video, this doesn't mean that YouTube or anything like that is stopping. I'll still be filming on here as well. Obviously, there's been less content recently because I've been busy getting that set up. But there'll definitely be more videos coming if you guys have any video requests or anything like that. I have said previously, just always comment down below anything you want to see. And I will consider doing those sorts of videos for you guys. So there'll definitely be more videos coming out for you guys. Um, so keep an eye out but yeah all my social media and everything will be linked down below so if you guys want to support me just follow me on those platforms as well um but yeah that's enough blabbering now um i love you guys all so much thank you so much for tuning into this video if you're new here welcome please make sure you subscribe or like this video if you found it helpful and um yeah leave a comment down below any video requests let me know um i love you guys all so much and i hope you have a fantastic day bye